In this video, I'm going to be looking at the numbers, statistics from the United States perspective. I am in the United States, so that's of most interest to me. At this point, I have just come to the website, and this is what's displayed. It's the world view. And on the left here, you can see all of the different countries that are reported on in descending order of number of cases. So this here on the right is the cumulative total of the number of cases for the world. <clears throat> here, I will click on this selection here and this is it brings the North American continent into view and on the right it shows by uh, deaths by county I believe so on the left here this is the number for the United States it says last updated 330 2020 and on the right here, of the 143,532 confirmed cases, 2,572 deaths have occurred. There are 776 deaths in New York City, New York. 144 in King, Washington, I guess that's King County, Washington, United States. 120 unassigned New York US. I believe that what they're doing based on what I'm seeing locally is assigning the the death by the place that you have lived that you live in because I will share with you in another video why I think that's so. 73 deaths in Orléans, Louisiana, 56 deaths in Wayne, Michigan, 55 in New Jersey, unassigned, 40 in Cook, Illinois, 40 in Suffolk, New York, 39 in Nassau, New York, 37 in Los Angeles, California, which would include Long Beach, 34 in Oakland, Michigan, 28 in Jefferson, Louisiana, 25 in Santa Clara, California, 23 in Bergen, New Jersey, 23 in Snohomish, Washington, 21 in Fairfield, Connecticut, 20 in Maycomb, Michigan, 17 in Doherty, um, and so on and so on. So, so far we have states affected. Let's see if we can zoom in on this and see the breakout by state. So as you can see, let's close this. As you can see, it's pretty much affecting every state. The less populated states naturally will have less. North Dakota, Minnesota, Montana, Idaho. But it's everywhere. Oh, this is, this is Mexico. Okay, so that is, those are the numbers for the United States. Again, a fairly granular level because this is, we know what databases to go to to get American data. We, the royal we. I'm not sure where the databases are for 
of the countries. I will point out that China has a fairly granular data also, right? Not as granular as the United States, but it's based on the reporting that they have, right? So, and if I'm seeing this correctly, oh, these may not be Chinese provinces. Oh, there's a tiny dot there. Yeah. So, okay, so they have, it looks like by city, reporting by city Hubei, Henan, Heilongjiang. In Italy, oh, yeah, cool. In Italy, you can see some regional reporting, but the deaths are just cumulative total. Spain, big city, although you know it's probably spread out more. It's just whatever we're able to get. Germany, Iran, France. So France has reporting by region, regional reporting. Although, oh, no, no, no. These are, hmm, I don't know. This is Guadeloupe, Martinique, and Saint Martin. I think these are islands, right? that are quote-unquote owned by France. United Kingdom. Okay, same thing. The UK has a, one number for the entire United Kingdom and then two on the Channel Islands and one on the Caymans. So, Switzerland. So this thing is the scourge is not leaving anyone out. Here's the Netherlands and they're reporting on Curacao also. South Korea, Austria, Turkey, Portugal, Canada. Okay, here's Canada and it has by um, region. I don't know what those regions are. Quebec, Ontario, Colombia, Alberta, cities, right? Look, and then one is listed as Diamond Princess Canada. Interesting. Norway, Israel, Brazil, Australia. Australia has some regional reporting. Sweden. Shake, yeah. Denmark. Malaysia. Ireland. Chile. Luxembourg. Poland. Romania, Japan, I would have thought Japan would have had some regional reporting, Russia, huge area, just a number, Pakistan, Philippines, Thailand, Saudi Arabia, and so on, South Africa, Mexico, UAE, Diamond Princess, Costa Rica, I 
No one is left untouched.